you mentioned in the sp in your presentation that you saw a lot of tactics, but not much strategy in Russia. Could you amplify? He's clearly got to have some strategy. So maybe you could give us the broad brush strokes of what you think that might be. Of course, he has strategy, and and the way I would describe it generally, you know, is push back on the West uh, he, and weaken our our institutions. He would love to see NATO collapse, for instance, and he's putting a lot of energy into that to to pull out a few countries. And if a few countries leave, think of Turkey in particular, think of Hungary. If they actually left, which I don't predict, but that's their strategy, then that would have big implications for the unity within the alliance. Number two, weaken NATO's commitment to Article 5, uh, and they're making progress on that. If you look at public opinion polls in NATO countries, it's waning. And even in America, you know, how, how many Americans will rally to support our NATO ally, and everybody likes to talk about the Baltics, I like to talk about the Balkans, because most Americans don't know where the Balkans are. We have some allies down there, uh, many of which I'm sure most people couldn't even find on a map. Are we gonna go to war with Russia over that? I'm not sure. Uh, and I just remind you, even in the Cold War, we had these debates about whether we would go to war with Russia over Berlin. Uh, there were doubts about that. I think that is waning, and I think that's part of Putin's agenda, to push back on that and to create his own, I call it the illiberal international, right, uh, of states and movements and, uh, around the world in counter to us. So he's doing that. The second thing I would say is he has weaker cards than we do, like his instruments of power are weaker, but over the course of his time in power, he's become... Uh, less risk averse at using those cards. Um, I was shocked that he did what he did in 2016. I would not have predicted that. Uh, that they would literally send over Russians uh, and, and pretend to be Americans. That's pretty audacious. Uh, that's, a new, that's a new era. I was shocked by Crimea. Uh, I mean, we had all kinds of war gaming and plan Bs. You know, that's what government does. But, but I would not have predicted that, that he, annexation would be part of those new instruments. But he's not stupid. I want to be clear about that. And, 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 and um, when, when faced with resistance, he does push back, um, number one. Uh, he pull back, I mean, not push back. And number two, I also want to be clear. I, I, I skipped these end slides about what's to be done in the future. Of course, Putin will cooperate with us when our interests overlap. And I believe we should do that. Uh, even in the Cold War, we did that. Ronald Reagan even did arms control. Mr. You know, anti-communist, uh, you know, that was his view, but they also cooperated in, in places where our interests overlap. And I think Putin is capable of doing that, and I think we should be capable of engaging him uh, in that limited areas where we can as well. Mm -hmm.